One of Singapore's top infectious diseases experts has outlined the three stages of COVID-19 infection. Knowing which stage a patient is at and how that correlates to their age and medical profile could be the difference between life and death. Cheryl Goh explains. In the first stage, the patient will be unwell for longer than the duration of the common cold, which usually lasts two to three days. The second stage is critical, as this is when patients may develop pneumonia or other lung infections and may even need help to breathe. However, if they pass this without any complications, it's safe to say they have started their recovery in stage three. In the phase two of the clinical illness, which is the lung phase, if they require oxygen supplementations, uh, then uh, we need to provide them uh, with this kind of supportive treatment. The older you are, the higher the incidence or frequency of them progress into lower respiratory tract infections. And uh, with the increased tendency for the older individuals to require oxygen as well as ventilation. So we want to watch the older patients with COVID-19 very closely monitor them uh, to make sure that uh, they themselves using their own immune mechanisms to be able to fight through. Hong Kong's hospital authority has released a study on the recovered and discharged COVID-19 patients and found that some of them have reduced lung functions or lung capacity and even become uh, breathless when they start to walk a bit faster. Um, how valid do you think these findings are? Certainly, we will monitor our patients after they, um, uh, they recover. Lung functions, we don't apply it on all the cases, all the recovered cases, uh, but we will do it in individuals with significant pneumonia. If you have a lot of lung damage uh, when you had COVID-19, you can expect that your lung capacity will never return back to 100%. So you may lose 5 to 10% if you're lucky, but if you have very severe disease, you end up being on a ventilator for two weeks or more. You can expect that your lung capacity and, and recovery may be delayed and may not return back to normal. What exactly is viral shedding? Viral shedding uh, is just that we can continue to detect the virus in the respiratory secretions. In this case, for COVID-19, we will be detecting this virus, the nucleic acid of the virus, either in their nasal swabs or their throat swabs. They may not be live viruses, but may be dead viruses. Uh, it is not uncommon for this virus shedding to go on for several weeks, and for some instances, it may go on to months. One of the confusion issues also is that if they are still in the viral shedding stage, like you said, it may possibly go on for a few months. Does it mean they are infectious at this point? We are taking extra precaution that as long as we detect the random or viral material inside the respiratory sample, we we'll hold them a little bit longer. We adhere very closely to the WHO's guideline to have the patients to, first of all, must be well enough clinically recovered. And two is that uh, they must have two samples 24 hours apart turned negative before we discharge them.